My name is Jules Atwood. Uh, I'm from California in the USA and I was studying at California State University Fresno. I graduated last year. Uh, I've been here for about a month and a half, so about six weeks. And we're learning a lot here at Spike Island. It's really fantastic. So we're um, excavating here in the parade ground uh, for the wooden prison, which was a prefabricated building uh, that was originally supposed to be going to the convict depot in Bermuda, but ended up here because of overcrowding. Um, I've also worked in the punishment block that's behind me here. Uh, that was uh, for solitary confinement, so it was, um, you know, if you got in trouble in the prison, you would go there. Um, I've also worked in the uh, graveyard area, so we have a couple trenches open down there um, at various stages of excavation. We've been finding lots of different things that we were not expecting. So when they first started excavating the graveyard, uh, they were expecting um, not as uniform uh, of graves as we have here. Uh, so there was a period of really high mortality in the prison between about 1850 and 1854. So we were kind of expecting to find mass graves from that, but instead we found these uh, beautifully laid out uh, graves. They're all equal spaces apart. Um, they're all east-west facing, and they're in these nicely made coffins. They're painted on the outside. So there's a lot of great care taken with these uh, convicts in death, which is, um, you know, comforting to know because they were maybe not treated so well in life here at the prison, um, but they were treated with respect at the time of death, which, like I said, the historical record didn't tell us that. So we're trying to uh, discover what the historical record doesn't um, mention and what kind of discrepancies are there and what matches up. Um, so that's been a highlight, really, you know, getting to see these things that were unexpected. Um, it's, but the whole thing has been exciting. We've, we've found interesting things in all of the trenches. Uh, as an archaeologist, we actually live here. <laughs> so we're living in the building behind you, which uh, used to be uh, it, when the prison was open in the 1980s to 2004. Uh, that was actually the administration building. So we're living there, um, but it's it's very comfortable. Uh, we have dormitory-style dormitory beds. Um, we actually eat here in the cafe. Uh, we have all of our dinners together here. Um, you know, we get up at uh, around 7.30 in the morning. We start work at 8 o'clock. Uh, we excavate for a couple hours. We take a lunch break, um, but we we dig all day long, which is fantastic. <laughs> so basically we're just, we're the first part of the uh, dig is removing the soil, getting down to archeological levels. And then once we get down to the archeological levels, then we're, um, you know, using trowels to scrape away, look at the different soil changes. Um, we collect all of the artifacts that we find. Uh, we, re we clean them in the lab and then we record everything that we find. And uh, essentially we're just, we're looking for clues, as I said, um, to what life was like for the convicts back in the mid 19th century. So um, yeah, a lot of it is digging, but then we also piece everything together in the lab and get to clean everything and analyze. While we're here, it's easy to take the ferry boat over uh, to Cove. It's easy to get into Cork. So we've all been to Cove and Cork several times. Uh, there have been some people who have gone to Killarney for the weekend and just, you know, exploring. Yeah, it's been great.